Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Visual Basic .NET console application. Okay. For this, we're going to use Visual Studio. Depending on the version that you have downloaded, let's say Visual Studio 2015 or 2017, the instructions will be slightly different. Okay. For example, open your Visual Studio, then you'll find this file menu, then new, and then project. Once you click on that project, a dialog box appears, something like this. Then you have to go to this left hand pane and find Visual Basic option. It's in templates and then Visual Basic and then console application. Now here at the bottom you have to change the name. Let's say I keep the name as demo vb and then i click on ok to store that project it will take some time to create the necessary files for our vb.net project and once created you will find that this right hand side view will have all the necessary files on left hand side we will have our vb.net project file okay so this module one dot vb is our file inside which we are going to write our code and execute it on right hand side class view you will find this project name okay if you click on it it will expand into the available set of project references on right hand side you will also find properties pane so this will have respective properties depending on the modules that you are creating okay now if I choose release and then simply use this start button then it will create one blank window and it will exit your program so let's simply create hello world so simply write console dot write and here you can use let's say hello and then my youtube channel name devnami and on next line i'm going to use console dot read okay so okay now i'm gonna click on the start button which will execute my vb.net console application it will take some time then it will simply open one window which is going to be command window and as you can see this command window has hello devnami as the console message okay now if i simply close this using mouse or simply use control c it will exit and we get back to our module one dot vb file okay in next few set of videos we will go through the basics of vb.net uh, some of the things as control flow then we will take a look at some of the functions and also what else you can do with vb.net on console